So good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Caroline and I am at Rufus King High School. I'm getting it in when I notice these two young men doing planks. They're riding bikes, they're riding their bikes. Plus, they are walking around the track. They're getting it in. Hey guys, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. That is absolutely awesome. So tell me, when did y'all start getting it in? Why you start getting it in? How old are you? What are your names? What do you do? Well, Give us the scoop. <laughs> My name's Christian. I attend Rufus King. I'm a junior now. I started working out about starting in sixth grade. So every summer, I just try to do this to blow some steam, stay active, and not try to stay up in the house watching TV. Uh, I'm Derek King. I attend Wisconsin Lutheran High School. I'm also a junior, and I started working out when I got involved in sports, and just kept on doing it ever since. So, uh, you two are friends? Are you related? You can say we're related. I've been knowing them since K-5. Since K-5? Yes, And y'all been friends that long? Yes, ma'am. Yeah and been getting it in. <laughs> yes. So tell me, how does it make you feel when you work out, get it in, do what you do? I'll start this one off. So for me, when I get stressed or get mad, all that adrenaline, you can use it for something positive and you can find this way. You can use that adrenaline. When you have that much adrenaline, you can use it and then you don't even know the stress, you're tired. That's a good way to blow off steam. And not only are you blowing off steam, you're also getting a good exercise while you're doing it. Beautiful, that is so true, yes. Basically, just to add on what it said, like the drill is trying to build you up and trying to make you better and force you to pull out any type of activity to make sure that you get better. That's right. And so it makes you think more clearly too, right? Yes. And focused. And so, it, right, it takes away that negativity. So you don't just respond and do something that you may regret later on. Yes, ma'am. So do y'all eat healthier too? Yes, I try to eat healthy. I don't eat fast food as much. I don't eat junk food as much. Uh, I eat baked chicken instead of fried chicken. Just trying to stay healthy now, since I noticed I gained a lot of excess weight off the junk food and the fast food. Beautiful. Basically just cutting down on fast food, Switch it over from fried to grill and changing up my habits and try to eat more salads. Y'all yeah. grown people, do you hear the future, our future here? They are conscious about what it is that they're putting into their bodies now. Did your families, your parents inspire you? What really just jump started that? Well, actually, for me, it was my sister because she stopped eating pork and red meats. So she encouraged me. She's like, hey, once I started this diet, I became more energetic and I had more energy to do those things I couldn't do before. So I was like, hey, maybe I should give that a try. And I lost 10 pounds in the first month. Oh, wow. How old is your sister? My sister is 26. Give your sister a shout out. What's her name? Quanisha Watts. Quanisha! Good job. <laughs> Basically, it was my uncle who had told me, well, basically, you should avoid all this junk food and everything that I'm doing and focus on working out and making sure that you'll be able to uh, accomplish your goals. Amen. And what is your uncle's name? Charles Brooks. Charles Brook! Way to go! Thank you, guys. Thank you. You are so inspirational. You are going to inspire other young people to start getting it in to uh, healthier foods, exercise, start now. So when you get older, you don't have to deal with a lot of those issues that I know some adults you may know are experiencing. High blood pressure, diabetes, people are going blind from diabetes, losing their limbs from diabetes. Do what you do. Y'all got, y'all got water? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so very much. And good luck, guys, and thank you for doing this, for this, this interview. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome.